Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. You can see by the thumbnail what this one is. Very, very desirable little car. And after reading through it, lovely low mileage, very nice looking little car. And the damage looks a nice, easy repair. So before I actually bid on this one, I sent Chris the pictures and said, what do you think of that? And his thoughts were exactly the same as mine. It's nearly summer. It's desirable, it's low mileage, it's automatic, it's going to be a nice little car to get done and a nice, easy little repair. So he said, oh, you got my blessing, Rob, have a bid on it. So of course I had a bid on it and we've won that one. So I'm going to head to the yard, jump in the truck, we're going to get straight on the road, get it picked up and show you what we so, bought. A couple of days later now, and I'm not going to lie, a little bit disappointed. Yeah. If, but... Your eyes are your guide, aren't they? But to be yeah. fair, it just... It's not the same car you've been on, is it, Rob? It ain't the same <laughs> car, is it? Come on, it's... Yeah. I mean, I sent you the pictures. Yeah. They're so, so careful now. I'm not going to mention any names, but how they've been taking these pictures. But if you go to a couple of well-known auction companies, I'm going to put this out there, see if you can find a picture of a steering wheel. They seem to be avoiding them like the plague, don't they? Mm. Which is a shame. Well, Shall we start the other side? Start where you like, mate, be because... We'll start with a good. We bought it, I think we had a little bit of damage here, didn't we? <clears throat> yes. And nothing else on the car, nothing else like disclosed. Ed yeah. Was there. You couldn't see that on the pictures, no. could you? Not that that's a massive amount. Of no, it's you not. You have to kind of expect that. but It's not. If you've put on here... No, absolutely no mention of that whatsoever. No mention of that. Couldn't see a broken screen. No. No mention of it. No. But the worst bit, I would say, is I'm sure insurance companies don't glue lid shut before they sell cars, do they? No. And the auction company normally would say damaged windscreen in the special notes. Mm. And... Well, it's, it's clear, isn't it? It's um, It's been... Doctored. Doctored. So that's a bit disappointing, really. Very disappointing. But I suppose all you can do, Rob, is look at it, that you've got all that extra damage for no extra money. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's it's uh, it's part of the game, I suppose, isn't it? Oh, it is. I mean... Is well, there any honest people in the salvage industry left, Rob? This is know. the thing. Do you know what? It's, uh, oh, do you know what? I think you might be on the same now. I don't... Yeah, there is, Chris. You. It is. It's really. terrible. Um, I don't... There was no mention of this scuff. No. Oh, look. I mean, I, mean I, I... don't know if this has occurred after it's been imaged. Yeah. Certainly the airbag thing hasn't, has it? I just did want to mention that as we was going past. This is when I said it was desirable. It's actually a 125i, yeah. which is a 3 litre, this car. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I can't, unfortunately, include the auction images because they're copyright, mm. but this looked beautiful. Yeah, the other thing that um, we noticed... It's got, like, a fag burn on the top. Yeah, cigarette a burn. Bit, bit disappointing as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is a shame. I mean, so, there's, there's not going to be a lot that you can do with that. No, no. And you're not going to change the roof for that, are you? So that's going to be a permanent fixture, I'm afraid. Uh, is that bonnet open? Yeah. Because I had a little brief look the other day. It actually looks beautiful under here. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It looks very, very nice. Yeah. It does make you wonder, though, doesn't it? This uh, is possibly a re-entered car. What category is it? Good question. Here we go, BMW 125i, odometer okay, financial and legal okay, damaged, detected and clearly highlighted there in amber. Scrolling straight down to the damage section on this one, you can see it was recorded as damaged in September 2023. Category S, structurally damaged. So I do think there's a chance that the previous owner did try and tidy this one up and re-enter it through the auction, but... I guess we're never going to know unless they reach out in the comments section. Don't forget also on Car Vertical now, there is a huge 20% discount code using the code SR20. That will be up on screen now. 
or you can click on the link in the description where it will automatically apply your discount. So on this check, of course, you've got your timeline, emissions, specs, damage, financial, legal, odometer, theft. Timeline is one of my most favourite things. Where this is an older car, you've got 20 records found now. So the manufacturer's date, the registration date, the date it was inspected, that could be an MOT. So that one is an MOT, it says there. You also do get some service data on these checks as well. You've got an ownership change there in 2014. Another inspection now, another inspection, another MOT, another MOT. Pretty much all the MOTs, but you can get all of the failed technical inspections, all the advisories, every single thing that this car has done for its MOT history will all be available on Timeline here on Car Vertical. I want to thank Car Vertical once again for the continued support on the channel. Don't forget, use that little discount code SR20 for that 20% discount off your check. Yeah, so as you can see by the car vertical, someone's obviously bought it. Or, I'll tell you what I think's happened to this one. Someone's bought it back from what? their own insurance. Could have been, it could they've, be. they've entered it. Could and, be. And to be fair, well, I don't really know how to word this correctly, but that partly could be our fault. Because I do always say, you get the yeah, option right. to buy that's your right. car back you do, yeah. before anyone else and we'll buy it from yeah. you. Yeah. But some people are buying them back thinking, do you know what? I can make a few quid extra putting that through Copart. And yeah. they, they probably will because it is only £100 to enter a car, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, one of them things, what, isn't it, mate? What do we do when we get given lemons, Chris? Well, make lemonade, Rob. <laughs> no, uh, all we can do... I mean, we haven't said, have we, that no. this, we've just... You have to give that a good... Yeah, she's a snap. So, it's it's not movable at the moment, is it? No. So, I think it's get the jack out, jack it up and oh, see... Oh, forget, forget that, pick it straight up with that machine. Really? Yeah. We'll pick it up and we'll see what the damage is underneath yeah. before we go any further, but it would be nice to get get it mobile wouldn't it yeah definitely yeah that moment. ain't no good like no. that is it so should we should we uh yeah we'll, we'll get it up in the air and see what we got underneath let's shall do we? it mate let's do it <coughs> chris has pushed the forks together as close as he can we've just got a chock of wood there these got the little toe in it probably can't see me there but they got the little jacking point underneath here so i'm going to guide him in as close as i can Unfortunately, Chris probably can't hear me properly, so I will be shouting at him and it's going to be a little bit loud. So just tilt forward a touch, that's it, and then in you come as you are. That's exactly as you are. Right, tilt back a tad, that's it, now go down. In you come. I've used another new word there, tad. Go on, mate, in you come. You can't cause any more damage. <laughs> That'll do ya. Right, up you go there, I think. Let me check that camera. All right, I'll let you... Uh... Let me double check that, mate, because it looks like the forks have moved in. No, you're good. You're All good, right. yeah. it from there? I think. Can you go a little bit more? That'll do ya. Shall I knock this off a minute? Yeah. Obviously don't get under it Rob. No, no absolutely. Oh yeah. That's nice. Good bit of driving that Chris. Go on. Yeah. Drumstick. Well that's definitely broke drumstick. Oh yes. And lower arm. Is that, can that camera see in that? Do you want to? Oh, yeah probably can actually. So you got that front yeah. arm. The yeah. back one looks alright with a lower one. Yeah. And your drumstick there. Yeah. I know someone did comment recently that I called it an inner tie rod. I was trying to call it the correct name, yeah. but apparently it's a track rod in the UK. Yeah. Anyway, it's broke. So front arm. Oh, look up here, Chris. Yeah, something bent there, isn't Wheels it? Wheels touching we, the uh, shock. Uh, yes, yes, that's not correct, is no. it? No. No. Right, so we... We are going to need a leg, an arm, and yeah. a drumstick, mate. Yes. That 
feels a bit notchy at the top, doesn't it? That's hitting there, so that other arm's yeah. bent as well, isn't it? Yeah. Or although ah. that that will float a little. Yeah, that will. Ah, it's float. catching because of that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. gonna float. Yeah. All right, mate. Um, right. Do you want to take your phone back? What's the plan then? Well, I think really what I'll do is I'll um, I'll get a jack and some stands out. Yeah. Um, and then I can strip that if you go and get the bits. Yeah. I mean, they pretty much know roughly uh, what we're getting. Bridge end, isn't it? Yeah. If you go to bridge end, and um, uh, do yeah. I pick the door and a wing up while I'm there and a bumper skin? I think we ought to put that on so we can get it back on its feet, yeah. movable, and then um, see if it. Get it running. Runs and drives. Yeah. And um, there's no nothing else hidden. No. And if it is, then we then we'll uh, go. Chris, down I haven't drive. actually had a proper look underneath there. But what does it have a look? What does it look like if you don't mind? And if you want to take the camera and show it, you can. To be fair. Yeah. To be fair, it all looks all right. The, Do you the want to sh engine under tray is toast. Right. It's broken here. Yeah. And it's broken at the back. Do you want to show it without where getting underneath where it's there? it's been forklifted, yeah, we'll do. You can zoom in a little bit on that as well if you want. So, this is snapped here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just about to see my finger. And there's a little bit of damage over the back there. But the rest of it, to be fair... Oh, yeah, it looks fine, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks fine, doesn't it? So, and I think the bit of damage behind there... Rob is limited to the actually the seal cover. Right. It doesn't look to be damaged behind it, does it? I'm looking at that tire while you got your hand on it. They all look very, very nice. Yeah, so this not... obviously was a looked after car. Well, yeah, I mean your well, mic's a... gone upside down. Oh, is it mate? Yeah. Shall I give you that back? Alright, well all I'll right. um le well, leave you to get that yeah, off and I'll whip down and get it. Stuck in the middle of the yard no. any longer than it's been here, do we? No, really? definitely not. Alright, um, mate. And um yeah, I suppose while you're there you can see what bits Tyler's yeah. and Ian have got. Well, I'm going to get a passenger drop glass if it's missing. So I'm going to have a look now. Yeah, I'll... But I did see some glass in there, so oh, I'm right. assuming it's broke. Yeah, it's glass. Yeah. There, mate, that is, isn't it? Yeah, like you can see it in here. But so I guess it's price up the parts, isn't it, as well? Well, I'll definitely get that regardless. Yeah, it makes it watertight. Yeah, it makes it watertight. And, and if we can make it mobile, um, and then we go from there. All right, mate, I'll All see right. you soon. So we make a bit of a plan there. Off I go in my van to Charing Bridge End Recycling to get the bits for it. And Chris, to help without any messing around, got the uh, axle stand under there, got the wheel removed, and then cracked straight on with getting all of the damaged suspension removed. Every single bit of it in there is damaged, but you can see bit by bit, he removes it all, ready to receive that new stuff. So we'll let him crack on, get all of that off, and I'll get the rest of the bits picked up. So they're actually the next morning, did get quite late last night by the time I got back. But luckily, just as I did, you was just going out the gate. I was. I actually quickly threw that passenger drop glass in there. Yeah. And a good job I did. Yeah. Because that poured it down it last night. It did. You done well, mate. Well, yeah, it's all, all pretty much stripped, Rob. Um, you, so You called me and said this one had elongated the hole. It had. Where is it? Yeah, it, uh... It's not there, is it? It must be in there. It's here somewhere, isn't it? I yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but... just the... Um, we'd have got away with it for the purposes of moving it. Uh, oh, it's still attached to the hub that's in the workshop. Right, OK. Yeah, we'd have got away with it for the purposes of moving it, but then we'd have had to strip it down again to replace it because it had pulled it out slightly yeah. and elongated. False economy. It. False economy, mate. So yeah. I know you said get enough to get it on its wheels and, yeah. like, basically get this corner tied up, but... I just thought, do you know what, it's false economy going down there twice. So it was like, go big or go home. Headlight, headlight bracket, driver's airbag, dashboard, wing, bonnet, uh, sorry, bumper, door, pyros in there, seat belts are in oh, there, every, lower arms, suspension yeah. leg, strut, new tie rod, new track rod. I've got everything. Right. I just thought... It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not expensive stuff now, Chris. It's no, really not. No, no, well... And also, buried underneath there, is a subframe for another project that we've got. I can see that. And I've already taken out another front bumper and stored that in another vehicle as well. I need a bigger van, Rob. I'm going to need a bigger van, mate. And we've just won another two beautiful cars. That's so, good, isn't it? Yeah, let's uh, get, I shall get all that out. Um, 
I guess probably we've take out what I need and yeah. then we've put the rest of it in a container, yeah, shall we? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, and then hopefully this is going to be... Um, we can get a battery on charge. Drivable, and, so yeah. Fingers crossed. It'd anyway. be nice to hear it run. Yeah. All right then, mate, let's do it. So back with all the new parts and no messing around. Straight in there with the new inner tie rod. Straight on there with the new lower arms. And then moving straight on, getting that leg hub assembly all put back in there. The only thing we're using from the original leg is obviously our disc and our caliper. Everything else was bent or you could see signs of damage on it. And there's no point putting it on there because you're going to be chasing your towel, trying to work out what it is that's bent and what it is that's damaged. We've changed a whole lot in one go. Well, I think he's pretty much there with it. Everything's done up, but did say it's all going to want dogging right up once it's on, on the, the ground. Yeah, well, actually on the lift probably. On the lift, yeah. yeah. But with all these cars, I mean, a lot of people have mentioned it time and time again, and we do forget to mention it. You can't actually nip these all the way until they are on that's the floor. Right, but that's right. fingers crossed when Chris lets that down, that wheel is going to be facing in the right place. Well, you can see it is already. Well, that's definitely in the right place, mate. Well, I see you've took the battery off. Yep. Uh, the pyro's blown in the back of it. So how they mark this as a runner? I have it's absolutely. Impossible. It is impossible. I'll put the uh, key in the ignition, and there's yep. not even a light come up on it. Is there not? No, not even a light. So, so we've got to do the pyro. Yeah, but I'm, I did wiggle around with that pyro, and that's how I was able to get the ignition on to turn the steering. Right. But that's as far as we got. So, okay. I guess we get a bit of life into that battery because the jump pack's no good. So and we should be uh, able to drive it. Then. Yeah, let's give it a go. So there's the pyro. There, thought we'd better explain it. And basically it breaks the circuit in there. There's ultimately a fuse inside. So here's a replacement. That's what I'd call it, a fuse. But I think it? it's an explosive charge, to be perfectly honest. A, a pyro. That pops, that pops, yeah. yeah. So it's basically got the same fitting as an airbag. And it is actually inside there. And it's just between that and that there, it's the link. That's it. And once it goes off, you can see how far that's blown away. Like that originally did look like that. Yeah. So it's actually blown away and it breaks. There it is in there, see it? So it breaks that link in there and stops it from one yeah. side connecting to the other. So I guess let's get that changed. Also, well, I don't know if it's actually blown that off or broke it off, but when I went down, Tyler said, just change the whole lot, Rob, because there is fuses inside here. And there is, you can see, they're going to be like quite big yeah, meaty yeah. fuses in there. I don't know if it says what they are. Anyway, look, let's get this swapped out and then it's got two chances. But how they add this down as a, a runner? Oh, it's, it's not pathetic. Possible. It's not pathetic, possible. isn't it? Not possible at all, Rob. It makes you laugh, doesn't it? And do you know what? We have noticed some other stuff as well. There's quite a few bits um, floating around in this car. But we did notice someone had been using their panel beating skills. <laughs> I think, I'll show it. Yeah. I do think they could do with a little bit more practice. Yeah. But it weren't until you dropped it down early. We was like... Dents are coming out. Dents are coming. Someone's had a go at that. <laughs> yeah. Someone's definitely had a go. Yeah. I've had well, their little, we, little hammer on oh, there. We would say they need a bit more practice, eh, Rob? Oh, definitely. Look, let's get these swapped Although out. Although they did do enough to trip us up. Oh, we, they did catch us out. They did catch they us did out. Catch us out. I mean, we didn't notice that. I did say, a couple of people said lately, bloody hell, Rob, you've been buying some old junk. But sometimes you do come a little bit complacent. But I don't think we bought any junk. I think we bought some profit. That little yeah. smarty car. There's, some people yeah. was like, oh, why'd you buy that? But no. that's turned out a good little car. You anyway, have rough, you have to take the rough for the smooth. You? You have to take the rough the the smooth. Think, but frustrating, but there you go. Let's get this swapped out, mate. Well, I'm working I'm on the floor. Stand, I'm not you... going to stand here and film you while you swap that, mate. No. I'll turn it off. All right, mate. So a bit of messing around in here, and I wasn't really going to record it, but you can see there's two things to remove that little fuse box, and then once I did remove it and plug in the wires in, one at a time so I didn't get them around the wrong way, even though they're colour-coded, you could see it was slightly different. The new pyro fuse in there, just one 13 bolting that down, and then a 13 from the fuse box bolting straight to it, and job is a good one. Right, swiftly moving on, you can see I've got jump leads on there, and they are going to my van. I'm just stabilising the battery and giving it a good charge and I've got it plugged in. I'm going to do a code scan. As soon as I've turned the ignition on, it's come up, restraint system, airbag, 
ABS. There's like literally loads of lights coming up. So I'm just, I'm not even sure if that ignition's on. Yeah, it is on. I'm quickly going to do a scan on it and just see what codes it's got. We're going to clear them all down and then we're going to go for the fire up. But let's see what it's got on there first. I'm not going to lie and insult anyone's intelligence here. I didn't have the ignition on. Now it's on. Now it should read it. I feel like a bit of a fool not having the ignition on, but hey ho. It did have three lights up on the dash. And there it keeps, I mean look, there's a bit of water in there. I reckon this has got a little bit damp because all of that up there, oh it is working now. One minute it works, next minute it doesn't. And there's a lot of stuff coming up on there. So anyway, this is near enough done. Look at all the faults it's got. But then that front wheel was pretty much knocked off, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of faults there. We'll let it finish, we clear them, and then we go for the big start up. So I cleared it all down, Chris, there was loads. And I'll tell you what's come back. Engine digital motor electronics, electric transmission management, dynamic stability control. Yeah. It's going to be um, ABS sensor, isn't it? Airbag, we know they're not going to go out. And convertible top module. Mm. So I've cleared them. They're the ones that have come back. Send it? Oh, I guess so, mate. We've got to know, haven't we? Here you are. That sounds... I'll take that. That sounds like a 46,000 mile car, doesn't it? Yeah. That's good. Let's let that automatic idle turn off. I know I call it a joke and everyone laughs, but that's what it is, isn't Cold it? Cold start. Cold start. They should be able to come off now, shouldn't they? Yeah, I should think so. I only had it stabilising while it was... Um, why had it plugged in. Oh, mate. I think what I'll are we going to do? Give it a yeah. Li give it a little it, draw of it. Little run up and down. I think. Do you want to turn this off? Yeah, and we'll cut get it ready? for a minute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mate. Go off from where you are, mate. Well, it's gone into gear, all right. So far, so good, mate. Oh, and brake sound horrible. I'll run up here and I'll let you turn round. Oh, mate. In my opinion, and it is only my opinion, best sounding BMW engines and six cylinders. Yeah, we've got a little bit of rubbing that's going on. the front bumper. Yeah, that's right. Probably better off with it. Let me just... Uh, I don't think there's anything I can really do with it. Better off like that. Full tank of petrol. Well, Is it really? Full tank of petrol. You love a full tank, then. Well, you? it's a Brucey bonus, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's I nice, isn't it? I don't think you're going to find any money in it. No. All right? Yeah. And it sound lovely. And I ain't on about the air dryer that just went past. <laughs> Chris, did uh, no. did I you just attempt to do half a donut there? No, no, not me. I wouldn't drive like that. Yeah, very good. Chris, think, that yeah. sounds beautiful. Sounds lovely. Now it's warmed up a little bit. Chuck her in, park and... Honestly, I just said it a minute ago. In my opinion, the six-cylinder BMW is one of the best-sounding engines. Yeah, yeah. Good engine. Go on then, mate. Drive it down and get it parked up. Right, what's the plan, though? We've got all the Park bits it for it. Park or put it in the workshop? We've got all the bits for it. Do we, do we start edging them up and getting them fitted? I don't know. No. Well, we'll park it up for now, I think. Yeah, um, have a cup of coffee and we'll think about it. Put the tools it. away and then we'll yeah. decide. All right, mate. goes all right and it sounds lovely. We're not going to keep you waiting on this car. You know we got all the bits for it in the back of the van and I mean I think we've got every single part to rectify that car and get it to the stage where it needs a bit of paintwork. It was a bit of a downer when it arrived and I'm not going to lie it actually turned out to be a bit of an ugly duckling that little car with the damage and the bit of bodging that had been done to it but you can see with a little bit of work We've got it to that stage already, and I'm convinced that's going to be a beautiful swan and a lovely little soft top car for someone for the summer. Fortunately, I mean, we bought this. They are getting on a little bit now, but the bits are so affordable to repair them. And just listen to that engine. It sounds absolutely beautiful. 
Guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it as usual, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it's completely free of charge. And of course, drop us a comment in the comment section down below. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you think of the BMW. Don't forget you can follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds, and you can follow Chris on his personal one at Selvage Rebuilds Chris. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.